Have you ever been sick and wondered what divine being was punishing you? Instead of a giant angry god, disease is actually caused by small pathogens such as viruses and certain bacteria. You may wonder why haven't they been eliminated due to our bodies constantly evolving to fight such invaders. Turns out the pathogens are evolving with us. This is a simple concept known as coevolution of host and pathogen. Coevolution of host and pathogen is the concept that two species change to adapt to their constant interaction with each other in order to survive. Let's look at the European rabbit to better explain. When the English colonized Australia, they took the European rabbit with them. The rabbits provided a known species to hunt for sport. Without natural predators and with plenty of plants to feed on, the rabbits flourished. However, it soon became a nuisance for farmers whose land and crops were taking heavy damage, causing a large amount of losses. Scientists began looking for a way to reduce the continuously expanding rabbit population. A possible solution came from Brazil in the form of the Myxoma virus. This virus had been responsible for the deaths of many European rabbits who had been introduced to Brazil. The virus is easily carried by biting insects, so once it's introduced to an area, it will continue to spread. When one mosquito bites an infected rabbit and subsequently bites a healthy one, the healthy one will become infected with the virus. Therefore, in terms of population control, it seemed like a wonderful solution. Once the virus is introduced, it should wipe out the rabbits, and when there are no rabbits, the virus will die out too. When it was taken to Australia and introduced to the local rabbit population, it was very successful. So successful that 95% of rabbits died within the first three years. However, a few strong, more resilient rabbits lived longer as well as those who were infected with less virulent strains. But wait, how does this disease work? As mentioned before, a mosquito picks up the virus from the skin of an infected animal. The mosquito then transmits the disease to the skin of a new host. The virus moves from the skin into cells within the lymphatic system and organs throughout the rabbit. As it infects new areas, it replicates and causes cell death. Eventually, it moves back into secondary sites in the skin. Now there is a high enough concentration of the virus in the skin for a mosquito to come pick it back up. So you can see that rabbits that died earlier kept the virus from moving to the skin. Since the virus was not present in the skin, mosquitoes could not pick it up. In the case where the rabbit lived longer, the virus could move to and multiply in the skin of the rabbit, so mosquitoes could retrieve the virus and transfer it to a new host. These attenuated strains of the virus let the rabbits live longer, which allowed mosquitoes to continue picking up the virus in the skin. Rabbits who won the genetic lottery and had some resistance to the virus could survive a weak or strong virus long enough to reproduce, passing on their resistant genes. So the attenuated viral strain was naturally selected for, as were the resistant rabbits. A balance was achieved. The weaker virus could continue being spread and infecting, while the stronger rabbits lived long enough to produce offspring. Overall, both participants evolved with each other to be able to continue their life cycles, and they will continue to act as a check in the evolutionary cycles of each other. The relationship between rabbits and myxoma virus is just one of many examples of coevolution of host and pathogen, which is an integral part of our world.